From George Washington to Joe Biden are 46 American presidents and counting. Stunningly admirable and intriguing stories can be said of their time of office, but why is Abraham Lincoln famous? He was the first president to have a beard. <laughs> Funny but true. He was the first to do many incredible things. Abraham Lincoln has made enormous contributions to the protection of national and world unity and integrity. He was president of the United States from 1861 to 1865. He was the America's 16th president and many regard him the best of all presidents. Abraham is celebrated and loved to this day for his excellent leadership skills, demonstrated especially during the American Civil War. The depth of wisdom in his speeches are remembered even to this day. Abraham Lincoln invested lots of efforts into emancipation of slaves, leading to the adoption of the 13th Amendment, which UNESCO incorporated into the US Constitution as a World Heritage Site. In this video, we are going to try to explain why Abraham Lincoln is still extremely famous today. Before we continue, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Lincoln's Childhood and Early Life Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809 to an uneducated family of hardworking laborers, Nancy and Thomas Lincoln, in a one-room log cabin in Hardin County, Kentucky. His family moved to southern Indiana in 1816. Lincoln's formal schooling was limited to three brief periods in local schools as he had to work constantly to support his family. In 1830, his family moved to Macon County in southern Illinois, and Lincoln got a job working on a river flatboat hauling freight down the Mississippi River to New Orleans. After settling in the town of New Salem, Illinois, where he worked as a shopkeeper and postmaster, Lincoln became involved in local politics as a supporter of the Whig Party, winning election to the Illinois State Legislature in 1834. Like his Whig heroes, Henry Clay and Daniel Webster, Lincoln opposed the spread of slavery to the territories and had a grand vision of expanding the United States, with a focus on commerce and cities rather than agriculture. Lincoln taught himself law, passing the bar examination in 1836. The following year, he moved to the newly named state capital of Springfield. He met Mary Todd, a well-to-do Kentucky belle with many suitors, and they married in 1842. The Lincolns went to have four children together, though only one would live into adulthood, Robert Todd Lincoln. Edward Baker Lincoln, William Wallace Lincoln, and Thomas Tad Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln and Politics Lincoln won election to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1846 and began serving his term the following year. As a congressman, Lincoln was unpopular with many Illinois voters for his strong stance against the Mexican-American War. Events conspired to push him back into national politics. However, Douglas, a leading Democrat in Congress, had pushed through the passage of the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which declared that the voters of each territory, rather than the federal government, had the right to decide whether the territory should be slave or free. On October 16, 1854, Lincoln went before a large crowd in Peoria to debate the merits of the Kansas-Nebraska Act with Douglas, denouncing slavery and its extension and calling the institution a violation of the most basic tenets of the Declaration of Independence. He was blessed with such wisdom to win debates. Abraham Lincoln's 1860 Presidential Campaign Lincoln's profile rose even higher in the early 1860 after he delivered another rousing speech at New York City's Cooper Union. In the general election, Lincoln again faced Douglas, who represented the Northern Democrats. Lincoln won most of the North and carried the Electoral College to win the White House. He built an exceptionally strong cabinet composed of many of his political rivals, including Sibbard, Salmon P. Chase, Edward Bates, and Edwin M. Stanton. Emancipation, Proclamation, and Gettysburg Address Shortly after the Battle of Antietam, Lincoln issued a preliminary Emancipation Proclamation which took effect on January 1, 1863 and freed all of the enslaved people in the rebellious states not under federal control, but those left in the border states. In bondage. Though Lincoln once maintained that his paramount object in a struggle is to save the Union and is not either to save or destroy slavery, he nonetheless came to regard emancipation as one of the greatest achievements he would argue for the passage of a constitutional amendment outlawing slavery. Abraham Lincoln wins 1864 presidential election In 1864, Lincoln faced a tough re-election battle against the Democratic nominee, the former Union General George McClellan. But Union victories in battle swung many votes the president's way. 
the second inaugural address, delivered on March 4, 1865. Lincoln addressed the need to reconstruct the South and rebuild the Union with malice towards none, with charity for all. What made Abraham Lincoln extremely famous? His loyalty and integrity. He preserved the integrity of the country during the long American Civil War. His election resulted in seven southern states parting from the Union. These states formed a new country known as the Confederation. He demonstrated exemplary courage and leadership skills during these tough times and committed to defeating the Confederation, in spite of pressure from the generals on the war front. It was his courageous character that prevented the country from breaking up. Impeccable Leadership Skills Abraham Lincoln was a great administrator to be president. His style of management did not require the use of force, but to convince others to agree on an issue. His courage, humility, and honesty made him so successful as America's president. It was during his tenure, the National Banking Act, Homestead Act, and Morrill Act were passed. Lincoln was instrumental in the passage of a law that paved the way for the Transcontinental Railroad. Abraham Lincoln was a great orator and some of his quotes remain famous to this day. These quotes are used by modern presidents to instill courage and confidence in people. America will never be destroyed from the outside. If we falter and lose our freedoms, it will be because we destroyed ourselves. And my concern is not whether God is on our side. My greatest concern is to be on God's side, for God is always right. These are some of his most iconic quotes. Abraham Lincoln's Assassination On the night of April 4, 1865, the actor and Confederate sympathizer John Wykes Booth slipped into the president's box at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. and shot him point-blank in the back of the head. Lincoln was carried in a boarding house across the street from the theater, but he never regained consciousness and died in the early morning hours of April 15, 1865. Lincoln's assassination made him a national martyr. On April 21, 1865, a train carrying his coffin left Washington, D.C. on its way to Springfield, Illinois, where he would be buried on May 4. Abraham Lincoln's funeral train traveled through 180 cities in seven states so mourners could pay homage to the fallen president. Abraham Lincoln will forever remain a hero. His legacy lives after him by being able to maintain the Union during America's lowest point in history. He demonstrated real integrity that should set an example for everyone to follow. A true leader to people of all ages. That's all for now. Let us know what you think of the video in the comment section below. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive new updates and we hope to see you in the next video.